content with just the headlines or the typical talking points. It's a refreshingly honest conversation about what's going on. It's about connecting our community and doing something to really make a difference. We're taking today's stories and bringing positivity back. Okay, so welcome back, you guys. Did you guys see it yesterday? Take five, the launch of a brand new show. So guess who's with us? The entire yes. cast. It's wow. show. Every day at four o'clock in the First afternoon. All, Michelle, Angela, Jordan, and Chris. Yeah. It's been a long it's time. It's a reunion. This is our reunion show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever happened to yeah. the Take Five crew? How, how did day one feel? Good. Was she was nervous. I almost threw up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. I told so Angela, amazing. I was like, I'm going to throw up. Why? <laughs> Which is so funny because she's been on TV, yeah. I think, like, well, you guys so hard yeah. on this. Yeah, you know? yeah. Well, behind the scenes, it's been a couple of months for us kind of working out kinks and trying to practice segments and doing shows with nobody watching. So mm -hmm. all of a sudden you flip that switch, the nerves go. I think I remember it was like a 10 second countdown to live, and I think I just went over to you, touched your back, said, Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> love you. Went over to you. Love you, Jordan. Yeah. Here we go. That was and awesome. We're out of the gates, and for the most part, it was really, really, really fun and a positive response. Well, one of the things that you guys have said about this show is not just that it's a new take on news, but one of the things that you're going to be doing, Angela, is taking a deep dive mm. into uh, some of the topics. So mm -hmm. we want to show a tape first, and okay. then we want you to tell us a little bit about okay, that. Perfect. Let's mm. roll it. Ever since I posted this, I've had white strangers and friends say, there must be something more to this story. That assumption is a big part of the problem. It does happen all the time, just not to you and me. Believe it and speak up. Look, whether it's about racial injustice, bullying, or child abuse, that push to speak up when you see something wrong is a great reminder for us all, don't you think? And it's been retweeted 28,000 times. That got so, a great reaction. Yeah, what's that? It's just so great. Yeah, the deep dive, it's, you know, we're inundated on Twitter, Facebook, all kinds of social media outlets with all these headlines, and you're getting information from all over the place. I'm like, what's true? What's real? Um, and so it really is about taking a lot of the research that we do with, um, you know, teaming up with experts and just giving people a little bit more. And I, honestly, I'm just so grateful to have a place to do that. And to be able to just, you know, enlighten. And we learn so much doing the deep dives. So it's a lot of fun. And Jordan, you're doing something kind of highlighting the pride of the Pacific Northwest. We've got a clip from that as well. Yeah. Before you expand on it, let's see what we're talking about. All right. We all know the Pacific Northwest has a vibe that's extremely unique. Seattleites work hard, they play hard. They love being outside, I don't know, walking their dog, exercising, enjoying the beauty, whatever it is. But if there's one thing that fuels us, if there's one thing that gets us so excited, it's the magic bean. about so it's you know I feel like people in the Pacific Northwest are prideful about so many things I mean obviously the first thing came to my mind was like beauty there you have it coffee yeah. beer could be one of them I mean we could have a list it, it, as long as you want sure. but there's so many unique things that we all love about this area that I'm like man we got to highlight all this and talk about it in a way that is take five ask a little bit different than just like uh, uh, getting a little bit of here and a little bit there deeper dive on cool unique things about the Pacific Northwest and even now, from if you're from around here, there's so much, so much. around this area that we haven't seen. <laughs> I know. Yeah, and you guys are going to take us there. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah. All right, so each of you are highlighting something sort of special. So let's take a look at what Chris is doing. <clears throat> Roll it. Tell <laughs> people why you're being honored, because you did something very special with your own money. Mm -hmm. So it first started with a book called Change Makers, and we read it in second grade and then that inspired me to be a change maker so I asked my mom if I can be a change maker I donated one hundred dollars of my birthday money oh that is so cool okay hashtag adorable <laughs> Mm -hmm. And we had her on the show, too. Throwing out the, she almost yeah, got a strike straight. over the plate, too. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. We're yeah. going to get to do a lot of fun things on the show, uh, some uh, unusual things featuring people, the places. You know, I, I'm fortunate that I grew up here, like, at King 5, Joyce, as you know. <laughs> My dad worked here. Since uh, you're just a And I never really left uh, the area other than go to college east of the mountains. So uh, the neighborhoods, the places that are cool, the things that people celebrate, that's the stuff I want to go and yeah. do and have fun with. So we're very excited. And Michelle, you've been part of our morning family, and now you're transitioning I mean, here yeah. to Take 5. We miss you very much, but you're doing some great work, too. You're never getting like, her back. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you repping. Sorry. With the oh, my gosh. And Sue Bird yesterday. What? 
Yeah. And what about Mayor Durkin? What have you been doing? Either a story on her? Well, or? it was kind of fun because we actually said, hey, Mayor, would you like to play basketball with us? Because originally we shot this during March Madness. Um, and then also because she's a huge basketball fan. Mm -hmm. And she so, played in college, didn't she? I think uh, she did. Yeah. did she play in college? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, we didn't talk about that. I know she coached in yeah. Alaska. And uh, and then she was like, well, I, I want to play with Sue Bird. And I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> like, Don't so then we get dreams. that together. <laughs> yeah. And it was so awesome because they actually really got into it. It and uh, you know the mayor held her own, but Sue Bird is a professional <laughs> athlete. So you also have your five hive. Oh, your the five hive, hive. and that's cool. really for all of us. Yeah, and which I, I mean, love. you're in there. Are you in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and Tell so the, that is. we can all use that, which I love. I love but it. But this is like our community. Um, we call it our social community to do good, to bring people together to do good. And so people are giving us like really incredible ideas or sharing these mm -hmm. um, thoughtful experiences and stories, and we're just highlighting them. We, they... we can't let you go because I see your your phones. <laughs> Zip Whip is yeah. a big yeah. part Zip, of the program. Yeah. Okay. What is Zip we whip? learned about that firsthand yeah, yesterday. You know, <laughs> it's like a be careful what you wish for. It's a very cool company. Full disclosure, they work here upstairs, same building at Home Plate Center here. Mm -hmm. uh, I met them about a year ago outside the stadium. Right. Uh, they were they had a full disclosure, a texturator, a keg that you could text <laughs> your phone number and it would pour you a beer and it would come out with your number. I said, that's cool. And wow. they said, this isn't really what we do. So we teamed up with them. They can text our show now live on TV. They can text enable any landline phone. So now you can text us during the show. They did warn us. We got over 700 text messages in less than an hour yesterday. Wow. So people are I texted out, you. They're watching and they you? care. Oh yeah. 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 A lot of opinions. We appreciate it too because you texted us oh at like 444. The show looks great. And that, that was you great. guys, the show was so good. So it was so fun to watch. It's 4 o'clock. You're really on Take was. 5. You guys, thanks for waking thanks up for early. Yeah, of course. Yeah. See you today yeah. at 4 o'clock on Take 5. Yeah. And my favorite part was a high five at the end. Woo! Can't wait to see what you guys do today. Really? Okay. Have a great day. We're still out of time. We'll be right back. I'm going to take this with me. I'm not sure.